Good morning. Today is September 2nd, 2022. And unlike my previous ones, this has no puzzles. This is just a quick game where uh, I played a quick game and there's nothing exciting happen going on. Usually there's some kind of tactical brilliance somewhere. But in this case, the game ends in the middle of the game. But what I want to highlight is the incredible tension that such a boring game can have. So this is the position where everything's like in basically very tense over here. So and you can tell that the hot point, the hot spot is this square right here over there and the black has the control for that square and white in the meantime has a lot of potential uh, specifically uh, pawn stone over here unlike black who has uh, double pawn over here so white can basically do a pawn stone over here but let's take it from the top over here this is the first pawn me. So that's the king's pawn analysis. King pawn opening, and pretty standard over here, really. Uh, that's bishop opening, and suddenly I start contesting the squares, like the central squares over here. So let's keep moving. Now uh, bishop can attack the. Bishop can take the knight, uh, queen takes, and that's basically attack this one, and the knight can move here and attack the queen there. So it's not exactly a losing game. This is the game is still equal, and uh, the tension is like a bit high at this point, but not so much. Still in the well realm of opening. And this is basically trying to liquidate the attacks over here. And of course, what? Double up on the attack over here. Plus, there's an option over here. And causing the black to lose the castle. Next move. And that's a mistake actually. But I do not want to put the queen over there. So it becomes, you know, in causing the knight to be pinned. So that's what happens. And that's the, of course, the position in the beginning that I showed you. Tension is getting higher over here. Next move. And this is a clever thing to do over here, basically preventing the king to castle queen side. Now the king can still castle. Uh, king side, but as you know, this is these are weak over here and these are open, so that's not something I want to do. Now, if I want to, I can actually just put go over here and put the net over there, and then the bishop will have to go over there. But then this becomes pinned. Uh, uh, that is, you know, there is no clear attack going on over here. But the fact that the bishop is bearing down over here, that increases the tension again. So, so far it's going on. I try to neutralize the stress level over here. And so far so good. And of course, once I can castle queenside, I do that. So right now, the position is stabilized over here. But as you can see, new trouble going on and the over the horizon basically they're gonna do pawn storm over the king and double nets and the bishops aren't good defender for the pawn storm so what has uh, attack even though the attack here has been neutralized basically new attacks coming in and that's stressful for me 
next move. So I decided to go likewise. And that's maneuvering over there. And basically, I'm trying to remove as many attackers as possible over here. But, uh, the fact that the knights over here disturbs their form, their structure over here. So, yeah, so this is uh, something I want to do. Next move. As you can see, the queen is uh, the powerfully posted over here. And the stable pawn over here, I can basically have an option to take that pawn and have that pawn double over here. The drawback of that would be this rook over here bearing down over here. So this pawn is vulnerable and I have to defend that somehow either by doing a pawn move right here or maybe the king move right here. But we'll see. Next move. This here is offering to trade if for some reason the knight takes here, the pawn can take here and we have a double pawn structure of here and that's very strong. Obviously what didn't take the bait. So uh, the attack is getting stronger with the queen of here that was attacking nothing but now suddenly the queen is attacking the disabled pawn so these are f extremely vulnerable over here this is when the tension level gets really high uh, with a lot of uh, risk uh, that you know one little mistake cannot screw up everything so this is very dangerous. And that's actually a losing one because this is attacked twice and defended once. So it's not good for me at all. And there you go. So I'm threatening to get this rook so basically either the rook goes here and wasting time and I can defend this pawn or you know or maybe the rook will go there and I'll just take this pawn over here and if queen takes this pawn I'll take this pawn two pawns for one pawn so this start getting you know easier over here the, no more stress but it just came up from a high level stressful situation that's what i want to you know impress you that the situation has been extremely stressful up to this point next move and this is uh, where the title you know, Patser Press Jacks comes in. Basically, Patser Press Jack is a phrase coined by Bobby Fischer. And he, he had a game where he has beautiful position and spoiled by premature check. And later on, when asked why, he said Patser Press Jack, Patser Press Jack. Patser is a weak player, so this is uh, a check because that's a check over here. But I noticed that this is also a fork over here. And of course the queen is unguarded over here. But the force is also true that this queen is unguarded. So this is something called Botes Gambit. And usually you should just take Botes Gambit. You should accept Botes Gambit. So, so well, you know, that's Botes Gambit. Uh, let's take it. Next move. And that's it. What gives up immediately? Because that is what this game is. So that's the game. No puzzle. Just an extremely stressful situation that caused somebody to make a mistake, make a blunder. And I'm not going to be too critical about it because I still do 
put a scan bit from time to time and I still decline put the scan bit from time to time so I'm not going to be too critical about it so I hope you enjoyed this uh, nice quick game thank you for watching and see you tomorrow